After a phone call on Friday from Vice President Joe Biden, Ecuador's President Rafael Correa said he listened to a polite request that Edward Snowden not be given asylum. Today, Correa declared that, for now, Snowden's fate is in Russia's hands. It's the authorities in Moscow who will have to decide if Snowden can leave the airport, he said, meaning Snowden will have to figure out how to reach Ecuador or an embassy on his own before Correa will consider his asylum request. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, who's been holed up in Ecuador's London embassy for just over a year, avoiding his own extradition charge, calls Snowden a hero who deserves safe passage. Mr. Snowden hasn't been convicted uh, of anything. There are no international uh, warrants out for his arrest. And tonight, another diplomatic headache for the U.S., a new report based on another Snowden leak that the NSA spies on European phone and computer networks and European offices in Washington, New York, and Brussels. Former NSA and CIA director Michael Hayden would not comment on the specifics of that report, but said Snowden has caused significant and irreversible damage. I can't imagine a government anywhere on the planet who now believes we can keep a secret. The United States wants to stop the leaks by arresting Snowden, but tonight he remains out of reach. Dan Revive, CBS News, Washington.